Hello students of science. In this video we're going to talk about the concentrations of solutions. So the concentration of a solution is the amount of solute in a given amount of solvent or solution. So here we have a dilute solution, a little bit of salt going into it, a little bit of solute. Here we have a concentrated solution, a lot of it going into there. We need a way to talk about which one is dilute and which one is concentrated. We need some numbers to go with it. So chemistry cat says I require your concentration. Get it? Because okay. First one we're going to talk about is called molarity. Molarity is the number of moles of solute in one liter of solution. So amount of solute in moles divided by the volume of solution. So in this case right here, two moles per liter, that would be called a two molar solution, two moles per liter. Note, and this is a big thing that messes people up, this is not the number of moles of solute plus one liter of solution. So you basically have to put in your solute and then fill it up to the one liter mark. That's how we get it. It's not number of moles plus one liter. That's something different. So when you're making your concentration, you have to fill it up in a volumetric flask. The symbol for molarity is capital M. And here we have just, you know, another adorable mole. So let's take a look at some examples of molarity. One mole of sodium hydroxide is going to be 40 grams. And if we were to take 30 grams of sodium hydroxide, so that's 0.75 moles, in one liter total of solution, so that's sodium hydroxide plus water, that would give me a 0.75 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. So 0.75 moles in one liter of solution. We use our equation here to figure out the molarity. Here's kind of a how-to for what to do. So let's say we're doing cobalt-2 chloride. Well, I need to figure out exactly how much I'm getting. So I'm going to get 10 grams there. I'm then going to place it inside a volumetric flask, and then I'm going to go up to the 500 ml mark here. So that's very important. I'm not doing 500 ml plus that. I'm going up to there. So the total volume in here is 500 milliliters in this particular example. Here's kind of another one. I have ammonium dichromate. I have my mark where I need to go, and I'm going to have a little bit left over. I don't want to use 250 mLs. There would be some left over to account for the fact of the ammonium dichromate. Place your compound in there and fill up to the mark. Don't go past it. Don't use all of the liquid. You're going just up to that mark there, not plus the full amount. The other one sounds really similar, but it's different. It's called molality. Molality is the number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. So in this case right here, I'm just talking about the mass of the solution, not the volume of it. So x moles of solute plus n kilograms of solvent. Because the volume of liquid could change due to temperature and pressure, as we've already talked about, molality is used because the mass is not going to change as a result of temperature or pressure. Those things might change, the total mass of it will not. The symbol of molality is the italicized m. There's another adorable mole. So an example of molality. Of course, as I've talked about before, one mole of sodium hydroxide, 40 grams. If I was to take 60 grams, that'd be 1.5 moles. In one kilogram of solution, that's going to give me a 1.5 molal solution of sodium hydroxide. So take the number of moles that you have of your solute plus the mass of solution. In this case, that's going to be one kilogram of solution. That's going to give me my molality for this particular example. 